How's it going, everyone? <laughs> so I'm going to talk about this Chinese balloon spy or spy balloon that is supposedly the size of three school buses. That is all over the news. It's spotted floating over Montana for days. And it's it just, to me, it's ridiculous. Why are all these people involved saying this is a Chinese super spy balloon? It's got to be a joke. It moves like 0.2 miles an hour. It's, so supposedly a massive Chinese surveillance balloon. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. I I should have a glass of wine while making this video because it's just too funny. It's been hovering over the northern U.S. for the last few days over Montana. Of course, the military, the White House, they're releasing statements on this stuff. Uh, apparently, the president was briefed on Wednesday about his options, including to shoot the balloon down, which they do not want to do in case it comes crashing down, hurts civilians because it is the size of three three school buses that's quite big so apparently the president suggested actually just shoot the damn thing down the stupid giant balloon but apparently the pentagon opposed the move fearing some kind of civilian casualties because of the giant balloon pentagon spokesperson pat Ryder told the new nbc news the u.s government has detected and is tracking this high altitude surveillance balloon now that's over the U.S. So the government went as far as sending F-22s, Raptor fighter jet planes, all the way from southern Nevada, going supersonic speed all the way to Montana to monitor this giant balloon that's essentially going so insanely slow. Apparently, the F-22s did not engage with the balloon. Their activities prompted a ground stop. They stopped at the airport in Billings, Montana. Check out this quick video, 24 seconds long. Here's the moon. that what planet is that of the supposed chinese surveillance balloon just this giant circle a lot of people reported it as a ufo unidentified flying object flying over montana that's the moon it's a little fuzzy out here and it's a kind of a cruddy phone but it's slightly overcast but what the heck is that that's not the sun and according to my little planet guide it's not a planet what the heck is that any help would be appreciated. Senior defense official did say that the U.S. has been tracking it actually for some time. They've known it's there. They've known that it's entered the airspace of continental United States for a couple of days now. They've had custody of custody of it the entire time, as in surveillance. <laughs> Worth going as far as saying it's not the first time that giant spy balloons have been spotted over the U.S., but this one has just kind of hung around and floated. <laughs> in the air for longer than usual and of course all the sensitive areas around montana have been alerted so that you know they would nothing no sensitive information would be kind of transmitted out supposedly according to nbc cnn the flight path carries it over some sensitive sites i didn't say what kind of sensitive sites all they say is that the u.s government acted immediately to protect against the collection of sensitive information so the defense source said they know exactly where it is where it's going <laughs> and where it's been so i mean i don't understand why everyone is making such a hoopla about it because come on it's like this giant freaking balloon going super hella slow so <laughs> why is it being billed as this like crazy chinese super spy balloon if it's basically traveling at wind speed and the U.S. defense sources say that basically they can block any kind of transmission going into it. Apparently, this is so serious that the Secretary of Defense gathered his military chiefs for an emergency meeting for this giant balloon to discuss what the hell they're going to do. Here he is looking very serious about the spy balloon. To me, this is all a joke. This has to be a joke. I don't know why they would make such a big deal about it. If they can block any kind of transmission, they can obviously shoot it down if they want to. But at the same time, it's just so freaking obvious. The size of three school buses, it's its not exactly a spy balloon, you know? To suppose a threat, a significant enhanced threat to intelligence. And they say no. So what's the big deal? So given that risk, of course, it's very low. Everything is low. So the worst they can do is basically cause damage if they shoot it down. One thing I don't understand is why is the U.S. so confident that it was the Chinese who sent this giant balloon? Maybe it was, you know, PETA. Maybe it was some environmental study. Maybe it was a university. Maybe, who knows? Just seems odd that everyone jumps on the bandwagon that it's this crazy Chinese spy balloon. But it's not much of a spy balloon if it's just so blatantly obvious. Because according to the sources that they told NBC, the Defense Department just says that they're confident 
They're confident that it was launched by China. <laughs> they even brought it up to Beijing. But China has not admitted that it's their giant balloon. <laughs> I think this whole hoopla is because the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, is expected to travel to the Chinese capital for high-level talks. So they're kind of dramatizing all this stuff, ruffling some feathers. It just seems like a big, giant joke. Made in China balloon. This is so serious, by the way, that CNN reported that the defense sources told CNN that if the risk of the balloon changes, the U.S. will have options to deal with this balloon. I mean, what a joke. Anyway, I, I just think this whole thing is super, super hilarious. Here's some pictures of the crazy spy balloon. It's so, such amazing technology. <laughs> such amazing, amazing technology, right? That's it for this one, guys. Smash like if you haven't. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Maybe.